हैलो एवरी वन दिस इज योर होस्ट दोस्त ज्योति शर्मा तुम वेख रहे हो सजा पंजाब टीवी ज्योति के नाल उम्मीद कर दी सारे तुम वजिया हो और हर वार की तरह हर हमेशा की तरह अज फिर मैं हाजिर हाँ कुछ खास मेहमान के नाल कुछ यंगस्टर्स के नाल और मैं पता है कि अज की जी इंटरव्यू है ना बहुत जबरदस्त होने वाली है क्योंकि मैं हमेशा ही कहनी हाँ कि ऑलवेज बी पॉजिटिव और थिंक पॉजिटिव जे थोड़े पॉजिटिव एनर्जी हैगी है यानी कि थोड़े बहुत ज़्यादा एनर्जी है तुम लड़ना भिड़ना चाहते हो तो क्यों ना तुम बॉक्सिंग रिंग देंगे क्योंकि अज जो प्लेयर्स बॉक्सर्स मेरे नाल उन्होंने बहुत सारे इनाम जितते हैं गोल्ड मैडल जितते हैं और उन्होंने ये जर्नी जी अभी अच्छे डिस्कस करा सो वी हैव स्पैशल गैसट एजाज खान हैड कोच बट ही इज नॉट हेयर बट एजाज हैलो फ्रॉम आस सो वी हैव दैनिल खान कोच एंड अरमान पाबला अर्जुन पाबला एंड शिवोन मैगरी हाउ आर यू फीलिंग I'm feeling really good. Uh, you know, this is uh, an exciting time for our our club. Uh we've uh achieved a, a very big feat in Canadian boxing history. I feel like um we're here to just showcase some of our boys, some of our coaches and the talent that we have in King of the Ring. What about you, Arman? Um I'm excited to be here to uh, show the world what I've accomplished so far and to show the to show our community that boxing um is a great thing just for kids and even for adults you just want to have an outlet to express themselves nice to see you hi how are you good how are you uh, i think i'm very excited to be here and just showcase you know what our club has done over the years for me and many other people i feel like it's been an outlet for many people uh, it's brought success upon a lot of us and i'm very excited to see what the future holds welcome to our show Hi, <laughs> excited to be here too. Um, very happy to be part of King of the Ring for the last six, maybe seven years now. Um, proud of the kids for what they do, what they've accomplished. Proud of the club, um, everything. It's it's great. It's our our boxing family outside of our regular family, and very excited about it. Very nice. You know, it's it's always a, uh, I, it's always inspiring when I saw any woman like. to any kind of sports and uh, i was very happy to know like you are the first uh, coach a female coach in this boxing uh, institute right so could you tell me more about your background when did you start this institute uh so we started king of the ring back in 2000 and eight i want to say so yeah just about 2008 2009 uh, we've had the gym open for a very long time i mean mm-hmm. i can't count the amount of years we've uh, shifted places and uh, actually settled down and now have over 60 active fighters um you know we've had national champions provincial champions throughout the years since we've opened up starting with myself my brother my my dad being a head level coach um you know him judging fights and refereeing fights it's just been in our culture in our in our blood and we've been trying to just give it back to the community of boxing in Brampton and you know we've got proud examples like Arman and Arjun we have more examples in our gym i mean we've got three guys going to the elite national championships and if they win they get to qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympics which will be a very big feat because there's no gym in all of Canada that has three fighters that are in from the same club going to apply for that and uh, i think that's a big success and a part of our coaching staff and our team that uh, has brought this achievement very nice and how are you feeling about your gold medal could you tell me more about it yeah sure um it feels amazing to um finally accomplish what i've been dreaming of for so many years you know training hard if you asked me about 5 years ago if i thought i could achieve something like this i wouldn't i would say no you know my 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 younger self would definitely be proud looking in the future seeing what mm-hmm. what i've got to um achieve so far and i'm excited for the nationals that are coming up i'm training hard looking forward to that as well to again prove not only to myself but to everyone around me that i have what it takes to go far in this sport very nice so how did you get inspired like uh, like motivated to to do the boxing honestly my motivation for competing started from watching my brother we both thought at one point as he said i never thought i'd be competing but honestly just watching him fight his first fight kind of gave me the motivation to want to do it too and now you know wearing this gold medal proudly I've thought about it and I, you know, want to have a future in the sport and go much further than I already am. Also, I think it's very important that I want to represent my people in the sport uh such as my Punjabi people because it's a very important thing mm-hmm. to just have a representation of, you know, who we are and show everybody how we are. Oh, 
very nice. It's very, very inspiring uh, uh, interview, I think, today. Is to, uh, I hope uh, everybody will like it. And I think that you will be motivated to your children. You will motivate that you will boxing because boxing is a sports that you will have a positive energy to win. You can set an example in front of the other people. So, you don't have to waste your energy to win. You can also involve in sports. So, um, how did you connect with the, this institute and how, were, how is the experience? Actually, I had my, my oldest did some boxing when he was younger. And then my younger one, um, as he got up, I, I wanted to box, actually. I wanted to do it for, more for, you know, working out and stuff. And I looked it up. I found it. I found Daniel, went to the club, joined it. And, you know, I said to my younger son, give it a shot for like a month. And we've been there six years. So, <laughs> and basically, I, I trained myself as well. Uh, and last year, I just, I wanted to become a coach, just become part of it, help the kids. And, you know, I love working with the girls, too, because we do have have quite a few girls as well in our in our team and it's getting bigger at the minute which is great and uh you know the the heart and the dedication these kids show just amazing mm -hmm. amazing very nice so how do you prepare the fights uh, um, and how do you teach the kids so uh we hold classes uh, at king of the ring i mean we're open seven days a week um you know mostly evening classes on the weekdays and then uh, morning classes to the afternoon on the weekends um you know <coughs> It's a uh, it's a mix of you know kids and adults. It's co-ed, so I mean you know we're we're not subjugated to just targeting one group of people. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to experience it, regardless of who you are. Um, it's it's a community in there. We we're, we're training a bunch of uh, champions. It's a culture of champions, is what we call it. Um, we're, we're we're trying to breed a, a good community of of people, you know, disciplined. Um, we want people to, you know, be off the streets. Brampton has been a little bad lately. You know, we want to give a place, kids a safe place to go and actually, you know, be healthy, be safe, you know, have a good mental mindset. A lot of, a lot of people come to us for those reasons, and, you know, I feel like our gym is a great outlet to, mm -hmm. to help that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great place to be. Let's just say that. we got a good community of people and uh, good students, good trainers, good fighters. I mean, if you're looking for anything to do with boxing, King of the Ring is a place to be. Yes. So can you describe uh, your more, um, like most uh, memorable match or fight? Like of myself? Yes. Oh, okay, my most memorable match and my mo most memorable fight is probably the Ontario Provincials and Canadian Championships. So I also have gone to the Provincials and Canadian National Championships. I actually was the best athlete in Ontario at one year and then I was the best athlete in Canada one year as well too. So. Um, it was a big feat for me, you know. I was the first brother, first family member out of the group to achieve it. And, uh, you know, it was a good thing to give Roshan to my dad. You know, he was, he was very happy and, like, you know, he was, he was very excited for it. And then I think that motivated him more to create a boxing gym and have some more fighters under him. And, you know, I think ever since then, you know, my brother won it. You know, we had my younger brother get the silver, you know, We've had Canadian champions after Canadian champions after Canadian champions after Canadian champions. Our gym has never been without a Canadian champion. I think it's just because the passion that we devote to it, especially my father, um, he doesn't do it for the business. He does it for the heart. And uh, when you see somebody do it like that, it means a lot. You know, you'll see people care about it more, way more, and uh, you'll see it. If you just step into our gym and you just come one day and just put one foot in, you'll see the welcoming feel that you get when you're there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we've built at King of the Ring. Very nice. You know, but it's a really sad when I think about it. Like, other sports are very highlighted, right, everywhere. But why boxing is a little behind? I, I believe boxing is a little bit behind because it's... Uh, it's it's not as funded as well, you know. I feel like the the funding lacks a little bit. You know, a lot of these kids, uh, they have to to pay for a lot of their own equipment and memberships and stuff. And there's there's not proper funding behind it through the the the, the boxing government, which is Boxing Canada. Um, but you know, we try to do our best into keeping them motivated. Uh, at the end of the day, boxing is a self improvement sport. It's an individual sport. So if you're not putting your best effort in and you're not doing the work, you're not going to gain the results. Mm -hmm. And I try to educate these guys that we are a team at the end of the day. But when you go inside that ring, you're on your own. 
and you got your coaches behind you. Mm -hmm. So you got to fight, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, it's, it's tough, but we make it work. We can do it. Yes. Nothing is impossible, right? We can do it. So what's your mission and vision? Um, well, my, my vision in this sport is to uh, eventually go professional one day and um, achieve really big things, mm -hmm. hopefully win you know, world championships. But as of right now, my next step is to win the nationals. My 100% my focus is on that. And just take it one step at a time. So to right now, I won the provincials, thank God. So now I'm going to keep going, win the nationals. You know, if um, when I do win the nationals, my again, I'm going to go to the world championships. If I win that, you know, then we'll just see where this sport takes me, one step at a time, and just focus on one thing at a time just to see where where I can take it and where, you know, with the grace of God, where I can go to. So um, are you studying as well? I am studying as well. So right now I, I'm, I'm attending high school. I'm studying uh I'm, I'm going to apply to universities in the next couple of months, and hopefully I'm going to apply in, to get my, my uh, undergraduate in business and then go into law school. So my, my, um, my plan is to study in, in university while I go professional. So, you know, I have backup plans for everything. So. Good job. Uh, I'm proud of you. God bless you. And what about you? What's your vision and vision? Um, at the moment, my vision is to become a Can Canadian national champion. I want to take it one step at a time. I don't want to look too far into the future because I still have a lot of time ahead of me. But at the moment, I'm going to take Canadian national championships this year. I'm going to go to world championships. I'm going to hopefully win that too. And then I will see where this takes me. But the, hopefully the goal in the future is to go professional as my brother and, you know, kind of just make a name for both of ourselves and kind of, you know, represent my people and my family. Very nice. So what about your family, about your mom, dad? How do they, how do they feel about it? Honestly, at, at first, I feel like my mom was more on the skeptical side of it. She was very nervous at first, but <laughs> she's grown into it. And she's uh, one of uh, my parents and my brother, are probably my biggest supporters in this, as long as my coaches too, all my coaches and uh, my whole gym family around me. They're the people that kind of brought me up in this. And honestly, one of my biggest accomplishments this year, besides provincials, was winning the Brampton Cup championship. Because that was the first time that I believed that I proved to everybody that I'm meant for this sport. And I I want to be here. Mm. Very nice. So, is there any like uh, is there any uh, fear like when did you start like uh, when you started this game like uh, being a boxer like you can you know s sometime you can hit very badly right? Yes, yes. Um, I, w I, w I will be. I'm not gonna lie. My first fight, my first ever fight, it was pretty easy. But my second fight, I took a really big shot on my nose and it. it it was a lot of blood. So uh, ever since then, I guess uh, my, f my f couple of fights after that, I did get nervous every time I got in the ring. But over time, the more experience you get, you get less and less nervous because your body gets used to it and your brain just gets, okay, you know what? I need to go in there. I need I need to go win. I need to do what I do. So I feel like if you're constantly nervous or scared about getting hit, then you're not going to go anywhere, right? So yeah, you got to grow out of that fear and then just keep pushing forward. Very nice. God bless you, bo you both of you. You're doing very good and uh, our wishes are with you. So keep rocking, right? So b being a woman, like, uh, how do you handle the pressure uh, of the players and, uh, you know, house also, you have some duties uh, there too, right? Um, yeah, and, well, I'm there to support all of them, the boys and the girls, right, whoever is fighting. And, you know, I've been in the ring, too, and I know the hesitation of, you know, that first time when you're going to get hit in the face. It's like, I think it's more the anticipation that's worse than the actual hit itself. Um, you get used to it. So you kind of know what they're going through, and you kind of talk talk to them and, you know, try to get rid of the nerves and stuff, because the nerves is a big, big part of it. But, yeah, being a female... We are, like I said, there's more and more females coming in, but I work with boys, I work with the girls, and I learn from the other coaches because, you know, I'm the rookie coach. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to develop myself, too, in that sense with the, the coaching side of it. Very nice. Good luck. So I, it was really nice talking to you all, guys. Like, So I want you to mention, like, the contact information, yeah. your address. Uh, yeah, so um, our boxing club is King of the Ring Boxing Club, and uh, we're located at 4 Automatic Road, Unit 106. The entrance is the shipping door entrance, so make sure you come to the shipping door entrance. Um, our telephone number is 289-952-2996. Uh, you can contact us whenever. Uh, even leave us a message, and we'll get back to you. Um, our Instagram pages are King of the Ring Boxing Club and my trainer, Daniel K., Coach Siobhan McGarry, uh, Armand Pabla, Arjun Pabla. And uh, you can even reach my dad, uh, Head Coach Khan. His Instagram is uh, Coach Khan 16 in Instagram. 
Ajaz Khan, and you can uh, you know follow him in, on TikTok yes, also. Yes, yes, follow, follow follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you know wherever you can get a little, little bit of our content. Uh, we're all over social media, so you know uh, we'll definitely be putting our content out there. A little side note as well, too. Uh, just last weekend we had uh, what. Uh, 40 fighters fighting the novice and um, open class tournament. Out of the 40 fighters, 38 got medals. Wow. So we had um, in the open class division, which is the, the division that goes to the Canadian Nationals, we had 13 golds, one silver, two bronze, and then two fighters that didn't end up getting medals, but they fought valiantly. Um, also in the novice tournament, that's the novice provincials, we had eight golds, nine silvers, and five bronzes. So collecting about 36, 38 medals, I want to say. <laughs> I can't wow. really keep count. Congratulations. Uh, there's, there's a lot of medals. So, I mean, we're doing something really big out here. And if you really, really want to be a part of this community, just come and check us out. It's, 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 it's great. Uh, it will change your life, that's for sure. Um, sorry. Uh, Ramik, are you okay with all the frames? Okay, I'm going to print out. That's why I was worried about it. So, Daniel, if you want to join the Institute, do you have any special specific time for the sessions or season? How do you start the season? This season is all year long. So, we don't have any season. If you have to come, the main days are Tuesday or Thursday. It's about 4 o'clock. Uh, nine nine o'clock tuck and then Saturday Sundays from ten thirty till about two thirty three o'clock and it's a uh, it's a mix of coaching group classes uh, one on ones um, strength training conditioning boxing technical uh, coaching just speaking like this you know there's there's a lot more it's it's something that you have to experience it's 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 not like your your everyday basketball or hockey or soccer where there's 10 or 20 guys you know just mashing around and kicking a ball this is people getting in there and trying to punch each other in the face and protect each other <laughs> that's good so any message uh, you want to give to the viewers yes uh just give us a follow anytime you want to come and check us out just come check us out at king of the ring boxing club um you know if you want to be somebody that's a champion like we've been creating here uh, please come and check us out. Open to all kids, all ages, from ages six and up, uh, 18 plus, men, women, come and get it. Thank you. So we have two champions here, so we want more champions oh, yeah. right in the community. So what about you? Any message for the youngsters? Um, this sport changed my life in a way that you, people couldn't imagine unless they've come and experienced it. So come and experience it yourselves, and you'll see how much this work actually can change your life. Thank you. And what about you? Honestly, I believe not only can the sport change your life, but King of the Ring Boxing Club is like no other. Not only are we a boxing club, we're more like a family. And these are the closest people I've been with. Some of these are my closest friends. Not only are we friends inside of boxing, but also outside. And this is something that, you know, not many club, other clubs have. You know, we have a community and like a family and the relationships that we've built over years. And it's something that, you know, it's very, we hold on to this very importantly because it means a lot to us. Not because this, we all share the same bond. Exactly. That's great. So, what about you? Any message for the viewers? I was going to say, follow us on Instagram, and there will be times you will actually see our fights um, yeah. being viewed. Uh, so, you can join and watch our fights live as, as they're going on. Thank yeah. you so much, uh, uh, all of you. Good luck. And uh, our wishes are with you. Keep rocking, right? So, uh, again, I want to say that King of the Ring Boxing Club is in your city, Brampton. So, please encourage your children to encourage them to be involved in any sports. It's not necessary that it's cricket or any other interest. If you think that your children are interested in any sports, then boxing is also a great sport that you can burn your energy in a right way. So, we're going to be here again in a new way. So, we're going to be here again in a new way. So, we're going to be here again in a new way. So, we're going to be here again in a new way.
ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਜੁੜੇ ਰਹੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਔਨ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਟੀਵੀ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਇਸ ਇੰਸਟੀਟਿਊਟ ਬਾਰੇ ਲੈਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਨੰਬਰ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਫੋਲੋ ਥੈਮ ਔਨ ਇੰਸਟਾਗ੍ਰam ਕਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦ ਰਿੰਗ ਬਾਕਸਿੰਗ ਕਲੱਬ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਵਾਪਸ ਫਿਰ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਵਾਂਗੀ ਇੱਕ ਨਵੀਂ ਪੇਸ਼ਕਸ਼ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲਈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ 6478987769 ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਬੌਬ ਦਸਾਂਜ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ 4164197777 ਟੇਕ ਕੇਅਰ ਸ਼ਬਾਕਰ